Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Sismedia, True Nerd, and welcome to Hitman. We have got ourselves a hold of the first episode, the Paris level, just a spot early, and we are going to be showing that off today. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the beta was so good. So a couple of quick notes. Obviously, episode one also comes with the training mode. The training mode is exactly the same as what was in the beta, which I've already shown off. Click on the card on screen right now if you haven't seen that yet, but would like to see that before you see Paris. I've replayed all of the training missions. As far as I can tell, they are all completely identical. I noticed only one change, which is all the little fire alarm levers that were in the beta that I played didn't do anything. In this training mode, they do do something. You pull them and it starts a fire alarm and basically it just seems to panic everyone. People don't like have a, like, a proper fire evacuation or go outside or anything. They just seem to all panic and stand around and search. It just seems to disrupt routines. It's a good way of disrupting routines as far as I can see, but I'll have to test it further before I can say for certainty. We've moved over to the PC version. This is the PC version, so it should be the prettiest version going. And I've got all graphics set to the highest level, with the exception of Shadows. Shadows gave me quite a big hit to performance, so I've turned Shadows down to the second highest level, just so that I can get a nice consistent 60 FPS. Anyway, let's dive straight into the Paris mission, shall we? And there we are, the ICA facility itself, but now available, Paris. Oh, I should have, by the way, a new cutscene, the um, the Legacy trailer that they released. That actually plays after you complete the training mission, strongly implying that all the events that are going to be in the new Hitman are set chronologically after all of the previous games. So yes, this is the furthest through uh, 47's life we've ever seen before. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, so rather interesting that we learnt the name of the client straight away. It's typical in Hitman, you don't know who the client is, but you can call it, sometimes you can figure it out uh, just by kind of, you know, listening to various details and trying to figure out who actually there might be the target. How, say, in Hitman Blood Money. It's never actually explicitly stated at any point that the client in Till Death to Us Part was the bride herself, but you could fairly easily figure it out. So you can see that there are criteria. I can eliminate him using any weapon while wearing any disguise. Obviously, there are challenges down the line that we're not going to get into just yet, but, you know, so like, you know, different ways you can assassinate, things you can find, feats you can do and targets themselves. For the most part, these like little achievements like you used to get in Hitman Absolution, I think they kind of almost suit this game a little bit better. So obviously because it's episodic, we'll have a gap between releases, so there'll be plenty of time to properly explore each level. So I'll go into those later, but we won't do those right now. For now, let's just see if I can bloody figure out at all how we actually bloody do this. So, moving into objectives. Smuggled items, what does this mean then? Ah! 
Okay, so the level is going to change over time as I do more in it. If I complete challenges, then I unlock new agency smuggled items or locations or things like that. So I can unlock all sorts of new things. But for now, I've only got one available to me. A basement stairwell. And I can put something into that basement stairwell if I were to wish to. Ah, and I can also choose what my starting location is. Oh, that's cool. So if I don't have to kind of do the whole mission again, once I've done it a few times and I've kind of uh, done some challenges, then I can start already in a particular area, already in a relevant disguise. You can kind of just skip the opening in order to get to the stuff you want to play more quickly. Ah, that's nice. Okay, that's a nice little thing. So you're allowed to take in one weapon, choose a suit, and right now I can just choose... Oh, surely the signature suit. Are we allowed to just wear the signature suit? Yeah, the signature suit if we're bloody allowed to. So we're allowed to carry one weapon in under our clothing. We're allowed to carry in two bits of gear. So in this case, five wire and coin. If I want to, I could swap that out for explosives, a syringe, or... Ooh, a lockpick. Ah, so I can only take in two things. You're only allowed to, like, fit in a certain amount of your clothing. So let's put the lockpick there into uh, the agency box. So if I need a lockpick for anything, I've now got one in the basement stairwell, wherever that is. All right, I'm hoping no one's going to mind. Actually, you know what? Okay, fine. Let's go in a proper black... We're going to a black tie event. Let's go in in black tie, goodness sake. Right, let's see what this does. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck. I just love it when you can walk straight from the cutscene and just keep walking straight away. Lovely. Am I allowed to just... Do you mind if I just... Okay, okay. First test. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. So here we are outside of the big, beautiful French building thing. Ooh, water. That is pretty. So let's see what we got here. Because obviously, as per old Hitman style, it's a little bit more kind of old Hitman style. We do actually have a proper, good, beautiful, big map to play with. So, got the first area here. We can presumably find some alternate entrances. Looks like those are little kind of doors and stuff around here. A little kind of thing at the back as well. So, all sorts of big, beautiful places that we can hide and move around the outside of the building. I guess these look like they're all kind of public areas. A basement below the building itself looks like nice, big, and complicated. A second floor and a third floor. Okay, right. Well, may as well head straight in and see if we can find our main target itself. Ooh, sanguine ice. So I presume, yeah, I have an invitation. I have an invitation already and I'm wearing a nice black tie suit so I can just walk on in. That's lovely. Hello, lads. Thank you very much. And, ah, and as we walk in, I'm guessing that's the guest of honour himself. That is Victor Novikov. Head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Congressman Walsh. A pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dalia and I for a drink later. So Novikov meets up with a congressman and wants to introduce him to some clandestine dealing. Hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, congressman. Urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. And something's gone wrong. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? Something's wrong with the fashion show. All right, let's follow our man. Just keeping our distance as far as we're able to. See if we can figure out what is wrong with the fashion show. So he heads through here. I think we're still allowed in this bit. Yeah, okay, we're fine. I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know. Ah, and one of the models like looks, a... well, either like Lord Voldemort or like me. Or 47. How about that? Huh? The hell I can't. One simple phone call, remember? Uh-uh. You wouldn't dare. Because you need me. My name on the bill. I'm no good to you discrediting. <sighs> nice try, Sebastian. Very clever. But I don't do compromises. Now get on that stage. Or so help me God, I will ruin you. Okay, so some sort of argument between Victor 
and the main fashion designer there. So that's something else to take note of, though I'm guessing I'm not allowed into... No, okay, fine. The off-limits areas are pretty well listed, actually. So that area is off-limits as well. Right, now am I allowed in here? This is a storage room. Apparently I'm just allowed in the storage room. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, let's just get a wrench now, just in case we need that for later. It's always good to have an extra tool, just in case. But I don't think I was actually allowed in here, because someone was just like, were. So, okay. And then we've got ourselves... Ah, a bathroom. Hopefully, the... Okay, so a bathroom that's got a way in and out. That's good, including... Ooh, what's this? A... Oh, overflow the sink. I think that's a distraction thing. You can make sinks overflow to get people's attention. Okay, so I could hop in and out of the backstage area through this bathroom. So yeah, from here, I could get out here, and this is a, presumably an area where I hopefully I could pick up like a backstage disguise or something, but let's not rush into that. Let's just explore this area a little bit first. Ah, and I can't go that way. That is... Ooh, what even is that? Like a museum or something. Oh, this might be a museum during the day. Ah, that's cool. All right, so we've got the fashiony bit here left from the main hall, together with a weird little museum-y bit. And a bathroom that lets me access the backstage. Lovely. So let's head back. Ah, oh, the fashion show itself is here behind the main area. Ooh. That's pretty... Can't deny, the game's pretty damn nice. It's pretty damn nice looking. So there is a nice fashion show going on there. With what I'm guessing is fashionable fashion. Good old fashionable fashion. Together with, ooh, yes. Okay, so a massive light rig. Massive light rig, I'm sure could be arranged to have an accident. Though I might need an ICA explosive to cause that to fall. That's how it always used to work in Blood Money anyway. If you could make a, an explosion on like a lighting rig would make it fall. So that's good. Uh, now, what else have we got here? This is the, yeah, this here is the area that links that first hallway. Let's just check if we can go anywhere off that first main room. But I think I saw security at all the oh, doors. Fine. Yeah. Security at the door. Security at all the side doors. Yes, fine. So we can't actually pull that one off. Lovely. And we can't go upstairs. Absolutely, there were little kind of bars in the way there. This, I'm guessing, is a, a bathroom. Oh, no. <gasps> ah, the basement stairwell. Ah, sorry. This thing right here. Okay, so it's right at the top. So now I've got my lockpick. Beautiful. So, the agency, yeah, that's actually a pretty easy, convenient drop point. So right there, there's a door that leads down to the basement, but it looks like I'm not allowed in the basement, but I am allowed to just walk through the door and grab the lockpick. Perfect. More doors I can't go through that side. Is there another door? No, there's no other door there. There's just one door that leads down to the basement. Okay. Through here, let's figure out what else we can figure out about this area. Go through here. This appears to be a, yep, an open area. There is a... I could pick up... Oh, I could blend in as a waiter over here. But I'm not dressed as a waiter, so I probably couldn't. More bathrooms. Yep, fine. Again, I could... Oh, conceal item. Oh, conceal item via wastebasket. Okay, if I needed to hide... Why do I need to hide anything? What would be the advantage of hiding anything? Don't know. And then we've got more bathrooms... Bathrooms, interestingly, that don't seem to be able to be locked. Maybe 47 just can't lock them because 47 doesn't need to go to the bathroom because he went before he came on the mission. Good for 47. So what have we got here? 47, there are some scissors. Don't need to worry about those. Unless, of course, I could, you know, dress myself up as like, you know, a hairstylist or something and then start just stabbing people in the throat when they come for a haircut. That'd be cool. Now, this is marked as an area that people aren't allowed in, but it looks like... No one's guarding it. Okay, this door over here. No one appears to... Oh, wait, hang on. There's one person. There's definitely one per... Okay, yeah, there's a couple of people there. But do they actually mind me? Let's just go through here and see how we can do. So, okay, so I'm definitely trespassing because that guy's gone straight into his... Uh, if I see you, you will be suspicious. He is some sort of member of staff, but I can't actually tell what... What else do we have in here that's interesting? There's something over there, I think. I can just see with my instincts something flickering. Let's just move over here. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Someone who would oh, not find me suspicious. Oh, oh, are you? Um, yeah, well, look, yeah, I know it's late, but look, if you could just... Look, look, I only need a lens for my camera. It's an emergency. Palladio Walewska. It's downtown at... 
Yes, the Sanguine Fashion Show. I'm about to do an interview with Victor Novikov, and my intern must have just dropped the equipment bag because... No, look, I'll meet your guy out front. I literally, look, I literally run alongside the van and throw money in the window, right? He won't even have... No, please, look, this is like make or break for me. Okay, so the woman there, her camera, I could put a bomb in her camera and detonate it when she decides to go and interview Novikov. Oh, Interesting. And we could also pick up a screwdriver. Grab one of those just in case we need it later. Just get one of every tool just in case. And now she's presumably going to ring around and while I'm not here, she'll like supposedly have found someone who was willing to like give her a new camera lens and everything will be fine. Now is there an entrance point through here? I can't see an open window. So I'm feeling like no. Uh, instead we have, yeah, one member of some form of team who I could get a disguise off. But yes, I quite like the idea of blowing up Victor Novikov by planting a bomb inside the camera. That's very cool and hit manny. Anyway, let's head out of here nice and quick. And hopefully, yep, yeah, no one has actually shown up in the meantime. So now just walk on. Now what else do we have dotted around? I think I saw a bar through this direction. Yes, okay, so off to the side of the fashion show. There is a- ooh, it's a very nice fancy bar. Ooh, is this one of those ice slides? Is that like an ice slide? Where you can pour drinks down an ice slide and stuff. Or possibly it's just a model. I've had drinks off an ice slide before. It was completely bloody pointless. But, you know, it's an experience. Now I could poison the food. And presumably, if I'm a waiter, poison it, then pick it up. Okay. Or I could blend in as a waiter if I was a waiter. Okay, because obviously waiting staff might well recognise other members of the waiting staff. So just move on and around. Yeah, there's waiting staff. And any more drinks floating around? Ah, yes. And another drink that could theoretically be poisoned, which I might be able to... Ooh, hang on, there's loads of drinks that could be poisoned. I wonder who all these drinks belong to, because all these drinks... There's like multiple different drinks along here that are poisonable, so that's interesting. Okay, and then... Ooh, what's that at the back? Hang on, there's something over there. Wait, am I allowed to go... Are you gonna? Are you going to have a hissy fit if I walk over there? Oh, yes, you are. Now, what looks like... Well, it looks like, um, it, by Hitman logic, that would be a thing that was holding up a chandelier. But I don't actually know for certain. Yeah, that's the back area, so I'd need to be a waiter to go back there. Fine. So, I'm guessing that's holding up something, isn't it? Yes, fine. Right, let's head back into the fashion show and see if there's anything else I can find that's interesting. Oh, there's more bloody drinks to be poisoned yet. Bloody hell. Now, actually, no, there's the outside bit first. Let's just head to the outside bit. And see what I can figure out in there. If there's any more kind of obvious opportunities. And then I'll pick my angle of approach. I don't think I can do the camera this time. Because I don't have an explosive to shove in the camera. But I might have to do that next. And... Blimey, you're dressed a bit casually for a high fashion event, aren't you? Goodness sake. So, oh, is that? That's Novikov. Oh. Listen to me very carefully, Talia. breached. There's a mole. Spies. Valerie St. Clair know about the auction. Told me in no uncertain terms. So one person in the auction is a mole and a spy. Got it. And then what we've got here is expose the wire, the wire plug. Ooh. Who's gonna... Who would theoretically would walk into that? If I were to do that, I don't know. Would the target? Uh, would somebody come and investigate that and then die? Well, all right, let's find out. Oh, flip, 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 I'm being spotted. Oh, oh, okay, it wasn't spotted, good. So, oh, I needed the, that's what I needed the screwdriver for. So, because I picked up the screwdriver, that's now sparking. But, oh, is it because it's next to a puddle? That would potentially have been a way of killing the target. Okay, could have been. Uh, so, what have we got here? I think I saw something around here. Uh, using the new instinct system that does just basically highlight uh, objects you can interact with. So there's all these gas heaters. I can fiddle. Okay, so I could loosen the valve. I'm guessing that's with one of the tools I've got. Though it doesn't actually say which. It would be nice if it said with which. So you kind of knew what you uh, wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have the right thing. And over here, you've got... Ah, let's blend in and listen to an opportunity. Mr. Novikov, Decker here. I'm at the show. Well, we could hardly predict a pile-up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or...? Okay, fine. We'll wait in the lounge. 
Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. Told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. One of his security staff will come fetch us. Tell you where we're going? Pavilion, Northwest Gardens. Said it was away from the prying eyes. Okay, interesting. So, the pavilion and the north. Well, let's not worry about that just yet. I'm just going to explore all the different things for now. It was a mistake to come here and rub Novikov's nose in it, Valerie. Please. Please, let's just leave right now, please. No, 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 no. Victor and I are going to negotiate. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Negotiate about what? Valerie, you've been trying to discredit him for years, and now? Showstopper's going under, Liza. <sighs> what can I say? It's all about the blogs now. Blackmail Victor, and we save the magazine. It's not pretty, I know, but... <sighs> Look, we still need solid proof that Victor and Margolis are in it together. And if Haley's been caught, Liza, I need you to get up to that auction and finish the job. Me? No, no I, I can't. Hillary, you can't ask me to do that. I can, Liza, and you will. We've got 200 jobs on the line. If not for me, do it for them. Oh, God damn it. Atta girl. Here, this will get you inside. Your cover story is as follows. You represent the Van Orton Tobacco Company, looking for... A way to discredit key members of the National Cancer Coalition. Just get me some evidence and then get the hell out. You can do this. So that woman over there is the yeah, owner of one of job. Novikov's fashion properties and she wants to get control of it by blackmailing. Okay, now, is she holding something that I might be able to use to get backstage? Because if so, she needs to go, yes, and I think she's actually putting herself in a nice... Private position right now. Lovely. Let's make sure she goes down nice and quietly here. And yep, sorry, you go down. No witnesses, I'm afraid. Uh, now you just get dropped. Lovely. Yago invitation. So I now have an invitation. I'm guessing I can't just put her in the bin. Let's just double check we can't just put her in the bin, but I'm guessing not. No. Tragically, we cannot just put her in the bin. All right, fine. So now... We've got an invitation that gets us upstairs. Perfect. So that's one way to get upstairs. Those two people here who are trying to plan to... Uh, well, they were here. Uh, who are planning to blackmail Victor. They, one of them, has got an invitation to get to the Argo meeting. In fact, actually... Was she not actually the um, the auctioneer herself? Or she said finish the auction. She instructed the younger one to finish the auction who I'm now posing as. Does that mean I actually have to be the auctioneer? Does that mean I'm now allowed upstairs? Because I've got the... Oh, no. So if I step forward here, yeah, lots of people do start seeing me. That's not allowed. So where exactly do I go in order to access the auction? I need to find someone who takes me to the auction. I have been told that these are my most accessible designs yet. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. No, 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 no. The themes I'm exploring here are perhaps my darkest yet. I've explored feelings of powerlessness, duress, coercion, the notion that, that free will <laughs> is only an illusion, that we are all controlled by sinister forces cynically preying on our vices and weaknesses. But, <laughs> Like the pleasant design suggests, we put on a brave face. A mask of normality. Uh-oh. A body's just been found. Oh dear, someone went into that toilet. And meanwhile, that guy over there. Now, who exactly is on the move? Ah, that person's searching, but I'm not wearing the disguise. So they've no way of knowing that it was anything to do with me. But that security guard did indeed just find... The body, oh dear. Meanwhile, in the fashion show, obviously, from what he was just saying, we now know that the fashion designer has some form of vice that he's being blackmailed about, I see. What the heck's going on here? I just came into the bathroom and... What? What are you doing? 
You were on the floor. What? What the? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I'm suspicious. Apparently, knock him unconscious. Yes. <laughs> Not suspicious anymore. I'm, fu I'm compromised. I'm sorry. There you go. I've just... That's apparently snapping his neck. But, uh... I didn't really want to do that, but that's a shame. Uh, okay. This is now risky. I'm in a public bathroom, having killed a bloke. But... And that means if they come across the body, they'll know that there is a disguise that needs to be... Uh, yeah, there is indeed a disguise out and about. Now, am I allowed through this area now? Am I? Yep, fine, good. Now I'm now allowed into this area. So I can break glass of these display cases if I want to. And we are in, at the moment, yeah, a little kind of back area. So breaking glass for a distraction in this here museum. All over the shop, which I'm guessing I could use to, like, get the attention of that security guard, which is cool. Anything actually good in here? Ooh. Hello, battle axe. Okay, we've got ourselves a battle axe over there. And we've got ourselves a member of the... Are you the security team or the technical team? Your crew. Ooh, crew. That's intriguing. Uh, okay, so battle axe. And then we could take care of... Is anyone going to see if I take care of you? I think... Ooh, hang on. There's, there's something else over there. There's something else possibly good. Swords! Lovely. And, ah, one of those fire alarms that I've mentioned in the past. So you're not going to recognise me. A member of crew... Could be a useful thing to have. But I'd like you to go down an area next to the... Uh, yeah, I'd like you to go down to an area over here. Actually, this could work quite nicely. Uh, you. Could be grotted. Nice and quickly over here if you'd be so kind. Garot goes straight into carry. And what's going to be the best place to put you? Uh, are either of you ever going to come through the doors? I don't know. Let's bring you round here so just in case someone does step through the door, they don't see anything immediately. Uh, but then there's a window right there. About, about, about here. Yeah, we'll drop you here because I can't see an obvious way to go. So let's be a stylist and see where stylist gets us and if crew gets us anywhere more interesting. So hello, yeah, I'm just a stylist, it's fine. You definitely can't see the body from here, right? No, definitely not, good. If someone finds the stylist body, then I can change over to that crew body and everything will be fine. You're going to be alright, yeah? Good. Yeah, fine. So I'm now allowed through here. The models are all backstage. And there is a... Yeah, nice. Ooh, nice fashion. Nice fashion. Probably, I, I'm guessing 47 can't just subdue her and take her dress. As much as I wish she could. So we've got the... more. Okay, so it's more display cases that we could theoretically break just to kind of make a noise or a distraction. Because we're in another bit of the museum here. We're not getting any younger. See these crow's feet? Oh, stop. You look fine. Yeah, well, fine doesn't cut it. Not in this business. I guess this will be my last A-list show. Oh, poor girl. Hello? And, ah, good. A place where I could put a body if I were to wish to. Ooh. If I could take you down and put you in there, that'd... Oh, 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 apparently somebody is... Oh, no. Who is that? Who is, who is just suspicious of me? And why? Do I need to get out of here? How much of a hurry am I at this point? Okay. We're safe. But that bloke over there, the main bloke, he knows what the stylists look like. I've got to be careful around him. Alright, I think that's the big, meaty, um, bold bloke I'm supposed to be potentially imitating. Right. So ignore him and walk straight on, right? Yeah, just go through here and keep an eye out for anyone else who might be able to recognise me. Outside, we've got some more... Oh, you're waiting staff. Okay, and a way down to the basement. And your security. Okay, so we've got... But there's two of them, which causes a few points. Oh, hello. What's this building out here? There's a building out here on the far side of... We're on the left side of the... Uh, we're on the left side of the building right now. I can get a fire axe. Am I allowed to disguise a fire axe? Am I allowed to just carry that around with me? No, I can't. Okay, that I need to be careful of. Uh, so, fire axe, a wrench, a... Ooh, p rat poison. Rat poison. Rat poison. Okay, rat poison is in that building off on the side. Be careful of that. So, Victor Novikov goes backstage. Let's learn his routine a little bit, because he appears to be staying downstairs. So, Victor Novikov hangs around backstage, presumably after being on stage for the show itself. Mr. Decker is on his way from the airport now. Conversation, that's saying something dumb. 
Last Hello. remaining copy. Yes. yes, we're meeting shortly. It's time to bury the past once and for all. I, yeah, I understand. I know it is a lot of money. Look, we can argue about this later. I've got a show to run. A lot of money to bury the past once and for all? Has he also hired an assassin? An assassin that's doing something else? Intriguing, right? Look busy, look busy. I'm just looking at these here books or something. All right, so we've got another... So he has a conversation back there. Fine. Keep following him. More models. Models taking a selfie. So he goes around in here. This is... Ah! Backstage kitchens. Security guard eats something from there. Potentially, if we poison some of that food, that'd be good. I don't think I'm allowed in here. And that's backstage in the... Bu oh, this is this is relevant. This is relevant. This is relevant. No, get, get, get into the public area. Where is he? Where's our target? Which drink is his? If we could figure out what drink is his, we poison it, we're good. Bare knuckle box. Tell me you know it now. Bare oh, knuckle. Are you sure of the name, Mr. Novikov? Excuse me, fingers. Oh, he doesn't have a drink because the waiting staff don't know the drink. But if I were the waiting staff, I could mix him a nice little rat poison surprise. And now he is he back to the beginning of his loop backstage. Let's figure out what all these rooms backstage are. We've got ourselves some, ah, some stairs that take us upstairs. But I'm guessing that, uh, let's just check. But I'm guessing stylists are only allowed on the ground floor, but backstage. What the? Yep, fine. I see, I see. Yeah, people seem to be happy with me as long as I'm on the ground floor. And then I've got this here helicopter. At the very rear, which is very, very cool indeed. Security officer. I'm guessing I'm not allowed to approach the helicopter, though. Helicopter that's landed on this lovely lawn. That is... Oh, yep, yep, the helicopter. Yep, they are not keen on the stylist going up to the helicopter. Fine. If I was a member of the security detail, I could approach the helicopter. Potentially put a bomb on it. Could be useful. So let's try this. Let's make the sink overflow and see if we can get the attention of the waiter. So now the sink is overflowing. Is that going to get your attention by any chance? Because I'm, I'm still not sure quite what that actually does. And then we've got... So what does this mean now? I could just straight up go for a murder of this guy. Is this sensible? Don't see... Oh, wait, no. This 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 particular moment is not sensible because I can see the target literally about to walk around the corner. So this would be a terrible time for that. But in a moment... Oh, air is being investigated. What? What the... Oh, flip. Who just... Uh-oh. Things going wrong. Yeah, I think someone got a bit freaked out because of the water. That's what he's... That's what's freaking him out. He's kind of got all confused because of the water. That put him into alert mode and that meant he saw through my disguise, I see. But now he's going back to his usual business. All right, now, is this a good time for me to grab a waiter? Let's give it a go. One fiber wire. Grot. Straight into back in here, if you'd be so kind. Into here, into here, into here, into here, into here, into here, into here. Drop him. Yep, fine. No, don't, don't hide in the cupboard. 47, 47. Come out of the closet. It's fine. We all know we're good. Now, disguise. Searching is occurring, apparently. Drag him. Dump him in the cupboard. And then everyone is a little bit on the alert side. But, oh, is it because someone found the body in the original toilet? That's possible. Right, out we come. We are now a member of this team. Good. Now, who recognises me now? Anyone? Somebody downstairs, by the looks of it. But I'm now allowed into the kitchen area. Excellent. In the kitchen area backstage, we've got multiple kitchen knives. Let's just quickly pick up one of those and then immediately sheath it. Oh, actually, I'm allowed to hold it. Oh, I'm allowed to hold it because I'm a waiter, so it makes perfect sense. Right, I'd say it's time to get into the crew uniform and explore upstairs where I know I'm allowed to go. So, disguise, the event crew. Beautiful. So, as crew, am I now allowed to make my way upstairs and explore the upstairs section of this whole business? Hello? Are we good? Alright, good. Allowed upstairs as crew. Perfect. 
So upstairs has its own set of weight staff dressed differently. Uh, blue waistcoats rather than the red. Excellent. So security details saying no one's up on the third Seriously, floor. We can't have any of the builders and stage crew running around here. Fine. So something's up on the third floor. I'm not allowed to get to via those stairs. I need to find a different way up and about. This is the ah. This might have been an easy way to get a crew. That guy at the top of the staircase that leads down to the first floor, he's crew. We've got a a winch right here. What's one of these do then? Let's just, let's check. I assume like if there's a winch, it's a nearby chandelier. Yep, it's a nearby chandelier. Lovely. So if there's a winch, just look for the nearest chandelier and that'll be oh. your answer. Wow. Then we've got plenty more winches and chandeliers. Ooh. Hello. And we've got ourselves a... Yeah, okay. Where are we supposed to be going here? We could jump to ledge, jump across. Now, is there going to be... If I just kind of crawl around the outside of the building here, is there like a, dra a drain pipe? Okay. Third floor. Here we come. Not allowed upon the third floor, but climb. Okay, so out of the window on the second floor, we can get our way up to the roof. Perfect. Right, go into hidden mode because I'm not supposed to be on this floor at all. Literally everyone will recognise me. I need to get hold of a member of the security detail outfit as soon as possible. Let's just move past the windows as quickly as we can. There's two of them there. That doesn't work. Oh, one security guard over here. This could work. If we can just get one of them off to one side. Yeah, okay, fine. Where's my coins? I've picked up so many items now. Uh, right, one of them. Over here. Uh, yeah, just right here. You are about to be my new disguise. Man, I got some weird shit flying around. I'm moving in. Oh, what the? Oh, no, someone else is coming outside. No, why would you pick this exact moment? You utter monster. Yeah, well, it's Miss Margolis's private laptop. The whole auction is running from that thing. What if something had happened to it? Okay, so a private laptop of some description. Fine, that's another potential avenue of approach. Uh, so now she's back over there. Let's try this again. All right, one more coin over there. That's right, you go and investigate that coin again. Never mind, go for it, 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 go for it. Grot. And... Okay, now get him. Where's the other one? We've got someone over there looking out the window. And not anymore, he's not. Go, 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 go. There's a box at the end there that I can use. I just need to get him past. <laughs> to ignore the corpse by the window. Everyone do not pay attention to the corpse by the window. It's absolutely fine. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, lovely. Now, get the disguise. There we are. Drag the body. Get it in the case. No, no, don't do that. Don't, no. Oh, you utter lunatic. You utter lunatic! <laughs> right. So everyone found that body right away because I just pushed it off the bloody edge. Beautiful. Upstairs. Yes, I'm aware the body's been bloody found. It's because 47 pushed it off a cliff rather than going for the obvious positioning. But whatever, eh? Now. What do we have here? This is presumably over here. Ooh. Hello. Got a glass of champagne. Glass of champagne on its own. Yep. I'd say poison the O flip. Maybe we just leave at this point in a hurry. Okay, everyone's calmed down a little bit. Everyone calm down. We've got poison in that there champagne glass. Now let's check out the auction itself. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. You're in. Good work. So this is the auction of secrets. So everyone's sitting around in a nice circle buying state secrets. And Margot herself is extremely well guarded. Oh darn, that was her champagne glass. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Up here, dusty attics on the other side of the right hand floor. We've got multiple guards who might recognise us theoretically. Let's see if I can just get both of them one by one as it's silent anyway. Number one goes down. Well, one silence bullet to the head won't hurt. It'll hurt him, but, you know, not in general. Ah, I believe I've just found why this area is so bloody well guarded. It's because this is where the bloody security centre is. And the question is, can I just get all of these guys 
one by one. Number one. Get him round and about. Out of the way. Quickly just move him around the back so nobody sees that. I drop him. Number two. And just move round. Yeah, now grab him. And move him round here out of the way so the other one wouldn't see him. He goes over here. I'm doing a lot of killing. There's a lot of killing going on in this particular mission, but uh, it's probably for the best ish. And a remote explosive. Ah, I've got a remote explosive. Nice. So now that we've got that explosive device and we're back in the clear, let's figure out what her routine is. Because I feel like killing uh, the main target, the bloke, with uh, with the ex improvised explosive device, knocking down the, uh, the big chandelier could well be a very easy way of taking care of him in an accident. I think that's the abandoned attic bit on the far side. I could fire a shot from the attic into this here room. And I've got to say... I think it's this room that's our best chance. Sure, she's got someone in here with her, but still, this is not that bad at all. I would say, potentially, if we can just get this guy to look the other way for a second. Or we could just punch him in the face. That works too. We could just punch him in the face. Then knock him out. Then snap his neck. Then just quickly get him into a cupboard. So he is dead, and now I'm just going to wait for her to return to this position. I should mention, by the way, um, the thing in the top left there, the guide to the opportunities, what I've done is there's three settings for that. You can turn it off where there's no kind of help whatsoever. You can have it on where actually literally the map will guide you step to step how to do the extra opportunities. Or you can have the minimal, which is the one I've gone for, where basically it tells you what the next step for an opportunity is, but it doesn't show you on the map where that step is, which I actually quite like. So, like, it gives you a little bit of guidance for what you need to do, but you can't actually figure out like anything else at all. I think it's quite good. I think it works nicely. Wait for them to face that way. Coin over the top. Okay, now. If I were you, I Number one. No, 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 no. Drop her and just quickly. Yep, now just punch her in the face a little bit. When it says the crime's noticed, how noticed? Snap a neck. That was really not that subtle, but okay. Let's get her into the bathroom that's conveniently right here. Interestingly, somewhere along the line, Novikov seems to have lost his bodyguard. Uh, I'm not sure where his bodyguard got himself to, but he seems to have got lost. Which works for me, because that means if this guy just enters a quiet corridor, then just straight up fiber wide death. It does interestingly appear that not all items are perfectly repeatable. Like, the fashion show does only appear to happen once. Which is interesting. And then, oh, hang on. This could be just the moment right here. Uh-oh. I think someone noticed that. I think someone noticed that. I might want to just move. Who's hunting me? Whoever they are. They're not in this direction. Whoever's hunting me, they're not over there. They may have been slightly witnessed, but that's all right. Both of the targets are dead. There's not a general panic. No one's actually fired at me at any point, which I would consider a great victory. Let's just get out of here and make our way back towards one of the, well, presumably, ooh, once again, there are multiple exit points. I'm guessing, oh, I could steal the helicopter. But no, don't worry about stealing the helicopter for now. Let's just be on our way. Possibly that crime was noticed, but no one's saying a body's been found, which is interesting. Instead, just make our way to the side gate and be on our way. Uh, incredibly scary. How many people? I must have killed like well over 10 people. Probably more like 15. All right, exit the mission and see how we did. And I just walk away as crew. Mission completed for the first time incredibly badly. Ooh, but Paris one day earlier. was Moscow. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a language spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen.
smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Why do you get the feeling that man with the beard was the one who hired me to kill Victor? Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Or he is MI6, one or the other. I mean, just because the game says the client was MI6 doesn't mean it's true. In fact, it's straight that it's all. I did point out straight away it was odd they told me that. I feel like that was a lie. I feel like he was the client. Ah, sadly, I suspect I'm not going to get the full rating at all from doing that mission uh, because I did that, as you'll probably see down in the bottom right there, I did that in offline mode because my connection dropped briefly, uh, so I had to do it in offline. Uh, yeah, one of the things I'm not 100% keen on in uh, the new home, in fact, probably arguably the only thing I'm not keen on is it does seem to be demanding an online connection at all times. And if your connection drops, it actually kicks you out of the mission that you're doing and forces you to enter offline mode or reconnect and then restart. But obviously, if it kicks you out, you have to go back to your most recent auto or manual save, which is, I'm guessing why, as I pointed out in the beta, was a little bit odd for Hitman, you get infinite saves. You get infinite saves because the game wants to let you save regularly because of the fact that it could actually kick you out. Yeah, the fact that it's demanding online connection, I'm not keen on. But the level's great. There's lots of depth there, and I feel like like I've uncovered like a bit of the plot, but there's way more plots and conspiracies and things that could happen. Yeah, it's great. It's it's a great classic Hitman level, right up there with the best of Blood Money, and I will be looking forward to replaying this many, many times, trying to find all the little bits of story and opportunities and challenges and everything. And I think we will pick all of that up next time, ladies and gentlemen. Over the next few days, expect quite a bit of Hitman-related stuff. There's all sorts of new things there, as you can see there. There is the new Contracts mode. There is the Escalation mode, and I believe there are options available for both of those already. So I will be looking at both Contracts and Escalation as well, which is a fun new twist on the, uh, the format, and I will explain all that as we go over the next couple of days. And then I'll head back into Paris 2 and try and find some more civilised, elegant, ways of doing it as well as doing it all in online mode so I can actually get some mastery XP to unlock new you know areas unlocks weapons all of that good stuff so all of that to come ladies and gentlemen but in the meantime I've been John this has been many a true nerd and this has been the new hitman I am um, I am really rather pleased with it probably by preference I would prefer it if it were just a single one-off release where we got everything in one go but it is nice to have things spaced out too, and it seems that these levels are big and complicated enough. I'm glad I've got the opportunity to replay them a few times. So, more to come, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been the new Hitman. Pretty damn good, I would say. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I just found a laundry room, also a chainsaw, for those particularly stubborn stains. Am I going to hipster heaven? Is there going to be infinite granola? Wait. I've got a ghost fedora? Did I just collect a giant ghost water heater? Food please, I'm a cat. Find out if Iris is safe. I'm gonna be honest, I've kind of failed that one.